What is going on YouTube? This is TTG and today I wanted to give you guys a bit of a review for the recent Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Pokemon pre-release I have attended. Um, I did end up winning the event and I just wanted to run down how my day went, the nice cards I got, what I thought of the set, um, maybe a bit on what I think of the uh, pre-release structure and my prizes for in fact winning the uh, pre-release event. So, first of all, of course, you get your four packs for uh, for building your deck. And I'm just going to show you through now these. I'm not going to show you all the cards I got in those packs, because if you want to see scans of the set, there's, there's better places to find that. I'm just going to show you the core cards in my deck. And this card here, this Lilligant, was one of the cards I did use in, in my deck, mostly for its uh, Petal Dance attack. Um, as you can see there, you flip three coins and it will do 40 for each uh, heads, but it also confuses itself. It uh, wasn't too much of an issue, but this card did come in handy because when you're in a pre-release, you're searching for evolution chains. You're searching for those easy-to-get-out Pokemon that you can easily put into your decks. I ran two of those uh, Lilligants because I managed to get them in my uh, starter deck. Let me just adjust the camera there. And I also did include this Trevenant in my deck. Honestly, I never even attacked. Actually, I, I attacked with it maybe once or twice during the day. I only managed to get one, and since you can't trade before uh, starting your pre-release event, I only could use one, I couldn't trade for more. So I only had one, and it didn't see a lot of play, but it was still helpful because it was a Glass-type Pokemon, which was the only type, well, I'll, I'll get to that in a sec, basically the only type, um, and the only type of energy I had in my deck. And I figured, yep, I will uh, use this Trevenant. It's a pretty decent card. Not really that playable. Its Poltergeist attack, attack is pretty cool, to be honest. Um, opponent revealing their hand, and it does 30 damage for each trainer you find there. But, as I said, didn't see much play during the day. So, you guys can already probably see the outline behind this Trevenant. I did pull a GX. What is it going to be? I will preface this by saying that this GX was integral to me winning this event, and without it, I don't know if I would have been able to. I would have certainly had to go down a different route with my deck building, and probably use two types of card. That GX was the nice Tapu Lele GX. At the time of recording, this is going for about $38 online on trollanto.com, um, which is where I get pretty much all of my pricing from. And this card here, incredibly playable. If you guys remember the X-Ball Mewtwo from Next Destinies that does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon, this has that exact same attack. Sorry, let me just fix the glare there. And uh, also it's Wonder Tag ability. When you play it from your hand, you get the Search for Supporter. Incredibly useful in a pre-release. Um... Uh, it won me, it, it, well, not not solely, but it was integral to me winning pretty much all of my games, at least f um, at least three of them. So it's our uh, GX attack Tapu Cure I did not use because this was the energy I used, sorry, and it's all glass. So before I get on to uh, how I went in my games, I will just quickly show you what you've already just seen now a bit. I did get the Mudsdale promo. Um, I suppose it's not really the best promo, I guess you could say, but, uh, you know, it's cool to get one of these promos, keeping it in a nice little sleeve there. I like the hollow work on it, and I like that it has the, uh, patch, because back in the day, they did not have, in fact, I've just got one here that I can, uh, show you guys. Like in, uh, there we go, this po polygon, see it doesn't have a set patch, it just says pre-release. And I do like that the uh, new pre-release cards do have that feature. Now, I will talk to you about how I won my games. I did play in the seniors division because I'm of that age to not be yet able to play in the masters division. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, but it turned out to work out okay for me. Seniors, we only had to play four games, and there was no top cut, and only the winner got uh, extra prizes other than the um, free booster packs that everyone got. So I was very lucky to be able to win. The uh, Lilligant that you see here, 
Um, yeah, straightforward, used used for its attack. Um, throughout the uh, the four games, the first two were much harder than the second two, and I won't go into you know the exact way that these games are uh, played out because that could take quite a bit of time and quite a bit of memory work for me. But essentially, the first two, um, I could have really easily lost the first because I had a Soul Petalil, which is what Lilligant evolves from, out for a lot of the the, uh, the starting phase of the game. And I was very lucky to later on be able to get the Lele out and start doing some serious damage. The, uh, the uh, second game, I came up against uh, a po person with another GX. It's the uh, Dog GX Pokemon that I can't think of in the top of, off the top of my head, uh, fighting type Pokemon, and I managed to defeat that. And the third and fourth games were quite easy. We're going to move on to uh, what I actually got for winning this event. So what I got for winning this event was a single card here, and it's quite unusual unusual sorry for this type of card to be given out uh, in any circumstances at event to players. Uh, but um, it was in this event, and it was given to me in this uh, sleeve here, and I put it in top loader. It was, in fact, a Drampa staff promo, as you see the little staff uh, logo there. These are going for about $35 online now, and uh, it, they do go down in, in cost, but then they generally pick up a bit later on as well. Overall, it was very nice. Uh, I did like the set quite. I do like the set quite a bit. I think it is definitely more powerful than the uh, Sun and Moon base set, and it was good to get to see some of these new cards. This Drumper promo, uh, very nice prize. You know, it is only worth that thirty-five dollars at the moment. But considering it was a smaller pre-release event, and it was the only prize that um, I could have got, I am pretty happy to at least get it. Very nice. Um, I've never gotten a staff promo before. Just a word on the set in general. It seems that a lot of the cards in the set, uh, maybe even this, this Tapu Lele included, uh, maybe you could argue they're a bit overpowered. Um, just the way that the, the cards interact with each other. Supposedly the new, the new kind of engine for all of the cards. Um, new engines for cards in, in terms of how they interact with each other might be a bit overpowered for the current format but as this set is not fully released at the moment it is getting fully released on May 5th we are just going to have to wait and see it was very enjoyable to go to this pre-release event and I would recommend pre-release events to all of you guys watching as they are a great way to see the uh, new cards that are going to be in sets and it's also just enjoyable to play some games of Pokemon even though that it is in that 40 card uh, quickly constructed format. So that was my video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. It really helps me. And if you guys subscribe to stay tuned for more, it motivates me to make more videos and it also allows you to be tuned in and know when I'm going to release them. So it helps us both. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.